Hello and welcome. Thanks for visiting, and I'm pleased that you could join with me today for another TV Box Stop review. I have with me here today the second version of the Z28 TV Box, and this one is called the Alpha Y Z28 Pro, Rockship RK3328 Quad Core Android 7.14K TV Box. After this short message, I'll be doing a full review of its hardware and features, along with my final thoughts and opinion, so stay tuned, I'll be back in a moment. In celebration of Sidhu's third anniversary, GearBest is hosting a special Sidhu coupon sale. Get up to 70% discount on selected Sidhu products, and up to $33 on popular Sidhu TV boxes. This promotion runs from the 17th to the 24th of July 2017, so don't you miss it. Welcome back, and let's start with the box it comes shipped in. The Z28 Pro comes in this brown box with only a 4K branding at the top and a serial code that shows that this is the 2GB 16GB model. So I'll fast forward this part of the video as I unpack the contents of the box. So in the box, you have the Z28 Pro TV box unit itself. You get an infrared remote. And my advice remains the same, it may work well to control the basic functions of the box, but a Bluetooth air mouse or mini touchpad keyboard is a better option for advanced navigation. You get one HDMI cable, a 5 volts 2 amps universal power adapter, I live in the US region so the US pin type power adapter was shipped in my package, and the appropriate pin type for your region will be shipped in your purchase. And there's no user's guide. This is not a problem, because the guide really doesn't show you much than what you already know about how to connect the box. Let's examine the box. The box is made of plastic, with the Alpha Wise branding at the top. To the back. You have one HDMI port, one audio video port, you get one optical audio SPDIF port, one RJ45 Ethernet LAN port, and a DC power input. To the right, you have two USB 2.0 port, and one USB 3.0. On the left, you have a micro SD card slot, and a reset pinhole button. To the front, you have an LED power light. And at the bottom, you have lots of ventilation holes. So I'll now connect this box to my TV, and when I return we'll have the rest of the review. So I'm back, and as I start up the box we have this Z28 Pro startup animation, and then you're presented with its launcher. From using this launcher I must admit, that the interface is fast and responsive. The launcher has a nice design with easy access buttons. The launcher doesn't come with a navigation bar at the bottom for easy navigation, a navigation bar will be provided in a later update. This is not much of a problem, because you can install a navigation bar from the Google Play Store with similar features. You can install the simple control navigation bar from the Play Store, and it will appear to the bottom of the screen like this. As we proceed, there's also a cleanup feature for freeing up apps running in the background, and freeing up memory for better system performance. Adding shortcuts to the launcher is simple, simply click on any of the add buttons, and select any app you would like to add to the launcher. That's all on the launcher, and let's talk a bit about the updates for this box. From my observation, it appears the TV box developers had started programming their boxes without root access, and then providing it later to the user via firmware updates. So a firmware update was provided for this model, and I completed the firmware update prior to making this video, and it provided root access that wasn't there in the original stock firmware. Let's take a look at the apps section. After the firmware update, what we have here is a selection of core system apps social media and movie streaming applications. So to add to this list, I'll install some system and hardware information apps, benchmarking, 
and a couple more streaming media applications, and when I return we'll continue with the rest of the review. So I'm back, and to start this segment, let's check to see if the box is rooted. And it shows that the box is rooted, running on Android 7.1.2 Nougat operating system. This means that you have the freedom and full access to the Google Play Store, to download and install any app you like without restrictions. Please note, the box becomes rooted only after a firmware update. Let's take a look at the DRM information. And it shows that this box doesn't have support for any of the DRM services, meaning premium paid streaming services will not show in HD quality on this box. Let's take a look at some system and hardware information. Under system information, it shows that the manufacturer is Rockship, and the model is the Z28 Pro. Below it shows that the box comes with 2GB of DDR3 RAM, and below it shows the available memory and internal storage from the 16GB after the operating system and apps installed on the box. Under CPU information, it shows that the CPU is a quad-core Cortex-A53, running on a 64-bit instruction set. Its maximum clock range is up to 1.5 GHz and it has support for 64-bit ABIs. Under display information, it shows that the GPU is the Mali 450 MP GPU, with a refresh rate of 60 Hz. Under network, it shows that the box has dual-band Wi-Fi support, along with signal strength link speed and frequency information. Under Android information, it shows here that the operating system is Android 7.1.2 Nougat, and it also shows that the box is rooted. Under thermal information, it shows the normal operating temperature to be around 45 to 65 degrees Celsius, and this temperature changes depending on the level of activity on the box. Under codex information, we have codecs like H.264, HEVC, and VP90 coding. These are essential codecs needed for 4K video playback. And that's it for system and hardware information. We now have the benchmark results for this box. And let's start with the results from the RAM and memory read and write speeds. The results show that the box has a RAM copy speed of 3340 megabytes per second, the internal storage has a read speed of 102 megabytes per second, and a write speed of 36, and the SD card slot has a read speed of 15 megabytes per second, and a write speed of 10. I'm beginning to see a trend with these Rockship boxes, having high internal storage read and write speeds when compared to in Logic S912 boxes in its class. Let's take a look at some Wi-Fi speed results. I've performed a total of 6 tests running 3 on each band, and selecting the fastest local server, and the results show that on the both 2.4 and 5.8 GHz Wi-Fi bands, the download and upload speeds exceeded the threshold on my 30 MB internet package. We now have the results from the Antutu benchmark. The Antutu benchmark performs a test on the box's 3D graphics, CPU and memory performance, and user experience. In the end, the Z28 Pro got an Antutu score of 34,268. It's not the best score but it's consistent with other boxes in its class. And now let's have a look at the Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark scores. Geekbench 4 performs a series of time tests on the box's CPU. The faster the box completes each task, the box in turn will get a higher score. Upon completion, the Z28 Pro got a score of 588 single-core, and 1622 multi-core. The last of the benchmark results is the Ice Storm Extreme GPU benchmark. Ice Storm Extreme is part of a series of GPU tests under the 3D Mark Gamers Bench collection, and performs a test on the GPU's ability to render lots of pixels and vertices, and it also performs a physics test on the box's ability to render high particle detail in a 3D environment. In the end the Z28 Pro got an Ice Storm Extreme score of 2279. This score is a bit on the low side, which means that this box is not much of a gamer, and it's more tailored towards streaming. Besides streaming movies online, 
you can enjoy your own personal collection of HD and 4K movies and recorded videos stored on external devices, with support from codecs like H.264, H.265, HEVC, and VP9 decoding. So I will now run a couple of 4K video samples to see how the Z28 Pro handles the 4K video playback.
frustration. We already know that this box is not as strong on 3D games, so I'm running the World War II airplane shooting game called Air Attack 2, just for a simple demonstration. So with the Z28 Pro, you can still enjoy some low-end gaming with games that the box can handle. So in summary, the Z28 Pro is a great TV box for streaming movies and TV shows online using Kodi and via APKs. The 4K video playback was good via the box's media player and loading from internal storage. However, playing these 4K videos via flash drive, and playing them through Kodi produced some negative results. While I appreciate the firmware update to grant root access on this box, I would much prefer that these updates be done utilizing wireless updates, to save the user the trouble of having to perform technical procedures. So I've come to the end of my review of the Z28 Pro, Android 7.1 4K TV box. If you are interested in this box, see the link in the description area for more information. Thanks for watching, remember to like this video if you found it informative, share it with your friends, and subscribe to this channel for more TV Box Stop videos.